Yo, 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 what's good? I'm Welcome back to Arsenal News, where we upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today, we got some Yeezy talk. But before I start, I knew you guys already saw the hair. I did go from blonde to gray. I did not like the blonde that much. And this is the final color that I was looking for. And thank God it came out perfect because if it did not come out this color, I don't know what color would have came out and my hair would have just been completely messed up. One more thing before I start the video is that if you guys want to join the giveaway for my Yeezy mask, I'm giving away three at the end of this month. If you guys want to join, go ahead and click on the link down in the description below. You will find it. It is the first link in the description. Click on it, follow all the instructions, get all your entries, and then you are entered in the giveaway. And at the end of this month, I will choose one lucky winner to choose one out of three masks. But anyways, today we are talking about Yeezys and the question of the day is, is Adidas releasing too many Yeezys? And I don't mean this in terms of, are they releasing too many Yeezys? Like, are they giving too much quantity? What I mean by the question is, are they releasing too many Yeezys at a time? Like for example, NMDs are releasing so many colors at the same time and they're just sitting on shelves. And the same thing is going with Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost were once known to be really hype and now they're just whatever, they're just sitting on shelves. Don't get me wrong, there are some colorways that do get hype, but not all of them are hype as the older ones, especially the 1.0s, those had a lot of value so answering the question my answer would be not exactly they are releasing a lot of yeezys but they're releasing them every so often they are raising the quantities even though they did lower the quantities in the blue tints but that's fine however they are separating them by at least three to four weeks as far as the last release went like we had the belugas and then like a month later maybe a little bit less they dropped the blue tints and now it's rumored that we're not going to see a yeezy until the summer but it was rumored that the adidas future craft 4d was going to drop this month i think sometime next week but according to yeezy mafia that was all canceled so that's not going to happen anymore and that's good that they were going to do that because that means that they were going to release a different shoe and that most likely means that they're going to release different types of shoes over time for example the adidas pro fear the one that's sitting on shelves it is like a black and red and then you have the white midsole is sitting on shelves and i'm pretty sure they thought that that shoe was going to sell out because i'm not gonna lie it is a really nice shoe i would have bought it but when i put it on it just looks so freaking big it's like a brick on your foot not only that but the midsole does look insanely huge so it just does not look right and also the shoe is not comfortable whatsoever i put it on when i was in new york and the shoe felt so Diff. They need to go back to putting boost on all the shoes. The reason they're not putting boost on all the sneakers is something I'm not going to get into in this video. But one thing where Adidas is going wrong with Yeezys is the fact that they keep releasing the same sneaker. They're releasing just 350s. I mean, I know they released that one 700, but it wasn't even Adidas that released it. It was Kanye that released it off Yeezy Supply. It wasn't off Adidas. And not everybody had an equal chance to get that shoe. Like I said, the problem is that they're releasing the same shoe so many times. Like, I understand the 350 V ones, whatever, they were dropped like last year, two years ago. And then last year was just straight v2s with heel tabs and the year before that was v2s without the heel tabs but it's just the same thing they're all the same shoe just a different colorway don't get me wrong that gives me a better chance to rock different outfits with hype shoes but i want to see a different silhouette i understand they're dropping the desert rats but it's still not dropping by adidas it's dropping by yeezy supply it's really hard to get it off that website as most of you guys know you need to have a bot or you just need to be really early and really quick i wish they would drop another 750 so i could possibly have a chance of getting one you never know you know what i'm saying but that's most likely not going to happen because yeezy mafia said there's no more 750s like we can just forget about those overall all the plan 750s have dropped which unfortunately i was not able to get a single pair and i do want the glow in the dark ones still i will have those one day hopefully soon i've been wanting a pair of those i don't even know where they fit because i have no more shoe boxes and sh these shoe boxes you guys are always asking by the way where i get these nice clear containers i get them from a store called the container store it's literally the name of the store you can just google it type in the container store and the first link is the link to their website and the name of the boxes are called drop front boxes so you guys can stop asking that every time getting back on topic one new thing that adidas is doing this year is that they're releasing a Dragon Ball Z collaboration. If you guys haven't heard already, they are dropping seven different shoes. Each one is going to represent a different Dragon Ball because there are seven of them in total. I don't know if a lot of people are going to get onto this because not everybody is a Dragon Ball Z fan, but I know a lot of people are huge fans. And I feel like this is going to target older audience as well because Dragon Ball Z was a huge thing back in the day. So that might target some of the older audience. But as far as the younger audience goes, they're just there to buy it and then resell it most likely. I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty much it for today. The question was, is Adidas releasing too many Yeezys? The answer is no as far as dropping too many colorways at the same time. So as you guys can see, all these sneakers have sold out and that's because they sold them in a good amount of time. Even if they sold them all at the same time, like the Black Friday release last year, not even last year, it was 2016. They had a Black Friday release, all of them sold out, but that's because all of them had really low quantity. And of course they were Yeezys. But if we're talking about other sneakers that really don't have any importance, like NMDs. And I personally think that if Adidas wouldn't have done what they did with NMDs as far as releasing too many at the same time, these would be really hype. Every single one of them. Right now, the only ones that I have 
have that are hype would be the monochrome pack because you don't see anybody wearing those. You see the people wearing the Japan NMDs and then you see people wearing the OG NMDs now, but you won't see people wearing like those two in particular. I have yet to see other people wearing them. Now my question to you guys is what sneaker would you guys like to see Adidas drop? Like would you guys like to see more 350 V2s? Would you guys want to see a 750? Would you guys want to see the 950s? Which nobody really liked. Those are like duck boots. Oh, would you guys like to see more 700s? Desert Rats, which is a 500s in other words. Or would you guys like to see a whole new silhouette? Would you guys want to see dad shoes? Would you guys want to see regular shoes like these? Well, these are regular tusks now, but watch the dad shoes are going to become regular tusks when they start releasing them a lot more, which it looks like that's where the trend is heading. I'm not even going to say that's where it looks like it's heading. That's definitely where the trend is heading. Be ready to see a lot of dad shoes. But like I said, leave a comment down below what you guys would like to see drop. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by the end of this month, which is by the end of the January, which is by the time the giveaway of the Yeezy mask ends. Anyways, you guys know before I go, I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day in today's fan of the day. Just go to Ayrton Hoek and Dichka. I don't know what you did with your last name. I feel like you just went to the keyboard and just pushed every single key you could have. But if that's really your last name, bro, you want to like comment back and tell me how to pronounce that because I have no clue. But it is spelled H O E K E N D J, not even D I J K. Bro. Anyways, guys, it's been fun. Make sure you keep grinding. It's your boy, Sneaker, signing out.